Okay guys, so today is going to be a little bit of a different day because Babe's at work today. So it's going to be just me and Moni Stink. And <laughs> um, I so Babe's off at work. I dropped him off at work and um, we're sitting at Safeway because I need to run in and get a few things. We're not like in our regular part of town today. We're more so like in the downtown area, downtown Denver area. And um, it's a little bit different. Um way more populated way more people um way busier <laughs> and yeah traffic's worse down here but you know it's different i like to travel different places like i don't care what the environment is or like what it looks like because it you know even though it's just 15 20 miles away from where we live the scenery is completely different it's more of a um like i said a, a populated inner city area so it's not the same as where we live out in the suburbs and i really enjoy it i'm from louisiana so i don't know i'm pretty used to like what would you call it um it's not like a metropolitan well denver is but louisiana isn't i i don't know I don't know what type of feeling I'm trying to go for. You guys get what I'm saying, though. If you've ever been to Louisiana, New Orleans, and stuff like that, you know the type of area I'm talking about. That's how it is here where I am right now. And like I said, I love it. I love to travel. I love to see different things. You know, even if it's just a few miles away from home, the atmosphere can be completely different. So I'm going to go into this Safeway and get the stuff that I need. I just need to get a few groceries. As you guys can see, we do a lot of shopping. Um, we're really busy and my husband's always working i'm working so i don't i haven't really had time to sit down and like make groceries in a while so we end up at the store um quite often so i'm gonna go into this safeway this safeway is huge it's way bigger than our local safeway and uh, i'm gonna see what they have here um and then i need to go home i need to do some cleaning basic everyday things that i'm gonna show you guys i need to do some cleaning i need to do some schoolwork with ramon because Yay. you're excited about schoolwork even though it's the weekend um he did miss a day of school on friday so we're gonna do it today because um we were out my husband he had a work trip so we went with him on his work trip and obviously we did some workbook stuff in the car but i want to do some more in-depth learning with him um i'm trying to make sure that he stays up to date on all of his school work because um i do the homeschooling on my own um we do do some online things but majority of it <clears throat> excuse me is things that i do on my own so i want to make sure that we get that done and don't fall behind and yeah i think that's pretty much it for today um i never really show you guys just like a typical day of what we're doing we're always like doing something in specific so today is going to be that day i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and join our family and we really do appreciate you guys for subscribing we've gotten um quite a few more subscribers maybe like 30 or 40 more subscribers so we really appreciate that and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy following us along on our day peace So on the way home from Safeway, I stopped by my mailbox and I picked up a package from Ulta. This is the last time I'm ordering for Ulta in a really long time because I have spent way too much money there. 
throughout quarantine. I'm gonna go broke buying stuff from Ulta and Shein. So I just picked up a few things. Some of these things were on sale and I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, the first thing I got is this Pacifica Clean Shot Granactive Retinoid 5% in seawater. This is brand new. I know you guys can't see it. You never can. It's so bright. But this is brand new. Um, it even said that it was brand new on the website. I had never um, saw any Pacifica like active acids and things like that. So I wanted to give this a try. And as you guys can tell, my skin is a hot mess. As soon as I got home from Safeway, I did my whole skincare routine. Anytime I'm out, like all day or for like five or six hours, I come right home and do my skincare routine. Because look at this. Like, I hope you guys can see that. But all of this just popped up, like, while I was out. And obviously, my skin is really red and, I don't know, reactive right now. But it's just, it's a hot mess. It's a work in progress, trust me. But, yeah, this, oh, I didn't, hmm. it looks just like this. I didn't expect it to look almost exactly like the ordinary products. Like, it's in a glass bottle with a dropper. And it's very, um, it's very similar to like the packaging that all the ordinary stuff comes in. So yeah, it says that it fights multiple signs of aging. I don't know. It was just a grand active retinoid and I wanted to try it. <laughs> and then I also picked up this Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist. This stuff had five out of five stars and I needed something to like refresh my face throughout the day. Um, anytime I get like really hot, my face turns really red. And I noticed that if I spray like some sort of cooling mist on it, then it helps. I had never heard of this brand before, Florence by Mills. I don't even know who that is. But um, I decided to pick it up. This was only $10. It is uh, 3.4 ounces. So hopefully it works as good as they said it did online people said they use it to set their makeup and all sorts of things but i just intend on using it like i said as a face mist to like help with moisture and such so yeah i picked up some of my favorite nails these are the kiss um glue on nails this is the this is the like natural style Um, I really like these and these nails stay on for a really, really long time. Um, I've had these nails on before for like two weeks at a time and they like, I literally had to pry them off and I really like the glue that comes in here. I find that the glue that comes in these nails is better than the glue that comes in the other ones because it's the, um, I don't know, but it's different. It says the Kiss Pink Gel. The other ones come with like the regular clear kind. But to me, this one works better. Like it really keeps the nails on a really long time. Then I picked up the Claire Supple Preparation Facial Toner. Um, it's supposed to moisturize, balance, pH, cleanse, and soothe. And I needed this toner because, as you guys know, I've mentioned before, I use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. But you're not supposed to use that every day or like multiple times a day. Um, I typically just use it once at night. So I needed something else to tone my face and I figured I would get a moisturizing toner to try to like counteract um, all of the active acids that I'm using right now and this one it had five stars as well I'm a sucker for reviews they get me every time but um let's see what this looks like oh this is what it looks like in the packaging it doesn't really smell like anything it smells just like really light and fresh I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand Oh, it's a kind of thicker texture. Yeah, this is definitely a really, let me see if you guys can see that. It's still runny, but it's thicker than like your average regular toner. It feels really nice though. I think I'm gonna really like that. I think this stuff was $22, so it's kind of pricey for a toner, but it does come with six ounces and it says it's supposed to cleanse and soothe as well. And I need all the cleansing and soothing that I can get. 
And then I picked up three more things. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing, I am, because I don't want this to be like too long. So I picked up the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner. This was this was on sale. It was $9, it was half off. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a really fat lip pencil. Like it's not thin like your regular lip pencil. And then it has a brush on this end. So yeah, just a typical brown lip liner. I just need a brown lip liner. I got another one of the Origins Ginseng Oil Free Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. As you guys know, I love this stuff. I purchased it like three or four times already. So I needed another one of those. And then I also picked up this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And this is just a little mini travel size. I wasn't sure what color I needed to get. So I got the medium um, with yellow undertones. So hopefully this looks good. Um, this was really pricey for this little tiny thing. It was $15 and there are um, 0 0.406 fluid ounces in here so <laughs> it's really tiny it's really little but like I said I just wanted to try it out to see if I liked it for like a daytime moisturizer I'm gonna try some on the back of my hand and this looks really I don't know what to say about it it doesn't really look like it's gonna match my face I'll just put it like that but this is what it looks like fully rubbed out. Yeah, this is definitely not going to match. I'll probably have to bring this back and exchange it. But who knows? I've tried on my face. My face is considerably lighter than my hand. So, I don't know. But yeah, that's all I got. Um, like I said, I'm going to try not to spend any more money at Ulta. And if I do, I won't share it with you guys. Because obviously shameful. I said I wasn't going to buy anything else. But yeah. Does anyone know how to remove those circles from around the front two eyes of the cooktop? I've tried just about every scrubber and cooktop cleaner out there and I can't get them to go away. Um, they're only on the front two, not the back two, which is really weird, but it's really annoying. And like I said, I've tried just about everything to remove them and they won't go away. So if you guys have any idea how to get rid of them, please leave a comment down below because I really want to get them off. So it's quite a few days later now and I forgot to end the vlog from the other day but I did want to come on and end it because 
I think like the last few videos my husband watched and he was like, oh, you didn't end the video, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to come on and make sure I ended the video. I'm getting ready to start another vlog right now, but I did want to come on, like I said, and say bye to you guys and, you know, the typical spiel at the end of the video. But yeah, um, and I also noticed in the video that my nails... I had my nails on in the beginning of the video and then um, after I cooked the chicken, I took my nails off because I had actually broken two of them. So that's why you guys see like in the beginning of the video, my nails were done and then like towards the middle of the video, they were missing. I just thought that was kind of weird and I wanted to point that out. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!